Hello, this is Porter Nielsen with Randomar Tech, and today we're going to be looking at the Decimate modifier. This is one of my favorite modifiers, extremely useful, used in my workflow quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and look at basically the settings first, and then we're going to dive into how to actually use it in a workflow. So there's three different settings. There's basically Collapse, which lowers the poly count. There's Unsubbed Up unsubdivide, which basically takes a subdivide model and undoes it. But if it's not subdivide or it doesn't have quads, it doesn't work. And the last one's planner, and it does something really cool. Check this out. So you can see that it just basically makes surfaces flat based on an angle. You can also uh, limit it based on normals, materials, seam, sharps, etc. Uh, these last two, don't really use them that much, but collapse I use uh, quite a bit, basically to make a lower polygon mesh that I can then bake and bring into game. And it makes basically the the tedium of what's the word I'm looking for retopologizing basically a thing in the past. So you can see here I brought this in straight from ZBrush uh, after remeshing this thing, and you couldn't use that in game. That's way too dense of polygons. And so I could basically take this all the way down to what I'd like, and then bake that out, and it would be perfect. And it is perfect. This is exactly what I do for for rocks. Um, sometimes I even do it for animated things, though you can get some weird artifacts. You can also change uh, polygroups. You can see there, I changed the polygroup of just the head. And so you can do this. I have the whole body where I made a polygroup or a vertex group, excuse me. And so it gives a whole body, but not the nail. So you can actually delimit what you want or what you do not want. The factor basically one to zero makes it so that the vertex groups work or they don't work. So nothing special there. Because you can basically just turn off the vertex groups if you want to. And the last two settings are triangulate, which does what you think it would do. And that basically makes it so when you decimate it, it will keep it triangles. And then the symmetry has to have a symmetrical object to start with. But you can do the decimation symmetrically. And so that's it in a nutshell. Uh, let me show you the workflow of what I kind of do with this. So I start with a high polygon, relatively high polygon mesh like this. And then I duplicate it and then it smooth the faces, as you can see. The reason I smooth it, smooth it is as you change this, you can actually see some artifacts as it decimates. Sometimes it has this weird kind of, uh, triangulation thing that doesn't work. So you can see that sharp thing right there. And so I can kind of see right there. It's, it's kind of weird. And that would be weird if you tried to bake that out. And so I can kind of move it that way and see and get the, the size I want. I also like adding a shrink shrink wrap modifier and then putting that to the high poly mesh so that it kind of keeps the form and a little bit better. Decimate's pretty good, but it's not perfect at keeping the form. So now I can apply the different ones I would like to do and then unwrap it and bake it and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, tab in there and you can see it's substantially lower than it was before. Uh, don't actually, I want to keep the shrink wrap for now. So I can actually go in there and grab the vertexes vertices, excuse me, of uh, the different geometry that doesn't look right. And so I can unwrap that and again bake it. And the other thing that you would like to do with decimation is to create LODs or levels of detail. Uh, you bring these into Unity, so the farther the camera gets out, it starts to shrink. And I can just simply bring this down and create a lower one. And what I do is I usually make like two or three of these make those LODs, and it, it will keep the UV more or less. There will be some stretching here and there, but for LODs, it is awesome. It, it makes something that could take hours, a matter of minutes. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Consider giving us a like, subscribing to us. We try and make videos quite frequently. Also, uh, follow us on Patreon. Uh, we give free files and assets to our Patreon users, and it helps us make videos like this. Have an awesome day. See ya.